Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 94. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following dynasties is known to have given the largest grant of villages to the temples and Brahmins? The correct answer is Guptas. Early Pali texts refer to the villages granted to the Brahmins by the rulers as Brahmadevya. Rig Veda was written during which among the following ages? Rig Veda is known as the oldest religious text in the world. It is also known as the first testament of mankind. It was composed around 1700 BC, which is the Iron Age. Last hymns were composed between 1500 to 1200 BC. It's a collection of hymns by a number of priest families. It is organized in 10 books which are called mandalas. For the first time in Indian history, the description of state administration was found for which among the following periods? The correct answer is Maurya period. The establishment of the Mauryan Empire in contrast to the earlier smaller kingdoms ushered a new form of government that was centralized. The Mauryan Empire indicates the triumph of monarchy as a political system over tribal republics. A study of the Arthashastra in conjunction with the edicts provides information regarding the administrative structure. Who among the following is ascribed for the work Mudraksha? The correct answer is Vishakhadatta. So, uh, Kautilya's Arthashastra Ashoka's inscriptions, Megasthenes's Indica, and Vishakadatta's Mudra Kakshash are the main source of Mauryan history. Which among the following kings have been linked to the Sudama Caves? The Sudama Caves were built by Ashoka and were dedicated to Ajivikas. So the correct answer is Ashoka. The Sudama and Lomas Rishi Caves represent the earliest example of rock cut architecture in India. They belong to the 3rd century Maurya period. The Sudama cave was dedicated by the Emperor Ashoka in 261 BCE and consists of a circular vaulted chamber with a rectangular manda. What was the function of Samhatta in Mauryan administration? Samhatta was in charge of collection of revenue from various parts of the kingdom and looked after the income and expenditure by supervising the works of the Aksha Patalatyaksha or Accountant Generals. Sources of revenue as listed in Arthashastra include that of cities, land, mines, forests, roads, tolls, fines, licenses, manufactured products, merchandise of various kinds and precious stones. All Indians are free and not even one of them is a slave. Who among the following? has observed the above about Mauryan Empire? The correct answer is Megasthenes. Megasthenes was an ancient Greek historian, diplomat and Indian ethnographer and explorer in the Hellenistic period. He described India in his book Indica, which is now lost but has been partially reconstructed from the writings of later authors. Pushyamitra Shongya, who was originally a Senapati of the Mauryan Empire, and assassinated the last Mauryan emperor Brihadrath in 185 BC was a Brahmin. Pushyamitra Shunga was the hereditary ruler of Vidisha. It was incorporated into the Maurya empire up till his led Kupdayat. Several sources suggest that Pushyamitra was a Brahmin and the 16th century Buddhist scholar Taranath explicitly calls him a Brahmin king. There is only one edict in which Ashoka refers himself as king of Magadha or Laja Magadha. Identify the edict from the following. The correct answer is Minor Rock Edict of Mashi. The Minor Rock Edicts of Ashoka are rock inscriptions which form the earliest part of the edicts of Ashoka and predate Ashoka's major rock edicts. These are the first edicts in the Indian language of Emperor Ashoka written in the Brahmi script in the 11th year of his reign. They follow chronologically the Kandahar bilingual rock inscription in Greek and in Aramaic written in the 10th year of his reign, which is first known inscription of 
Ashoka. At which among the following places Chandragupta Maurya spent his last days? The correct answer is Shavanavelagola, which is a town located near Channarapatna of Hassan district in the Indian state of Karnataka, and it is 144 kilometers from the city of Bangalore. Chandragupta Maurya is said to have died here in 298 BCE after he became a Jain monk and assumed an ascetic lifestyle. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.